Hi guys, welcome back. Getting ready to do how does he or she feel about me reading. Okay, I'm gonna do, see, how does he or she feel about me at this time? What do I need to know? Waiting for a particular zodiac sign to fall out. Okay, two wanted to come out, let's take this one. Aries, okay. Aries, let's see. This may not resonate with all of you guys, just for those that have sun, moon, rising, and Aries. Or if your natal chart consists of a lot of Aries, then this may resonate with you. But not all of you guys hearing this message right now, just for those that I'm picking up. And that needs to hear. Okay. What are they telling you, Aries? Okay, they may not be telling you much with the High Priestess and the Star, but they're hopeful. They're very hopeful. Could be dealing with the Cancer of Pisces and Aquarius. They may have told you or is telling you right now that they just want to be friends. There's a lot of things you guys need to work out or work on. Or you could have told this person that. It could have been with another fire sign or an earth sign. It's really what I'm getting. Okay. For Aries. Alright. How will they be walking their talk in the very near future? How are they feeling about this person? What's in their external environment or outside influences that may affect this relationship? And what is the likely outcome if things were to continue in the way it's going right now? be dealing with another fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius or I'm strongly picking you guys up I do have Leo in here and I have Sagittarius in here I also have Gemini okay let's go ahead and clarify this what they told you Aries sorry my is cute little kitty pie just fell asleep <laughs> in my lap and my legs are falling asleep okay let me fix you a couple. All right. What they may have told you, Aries, was maybe you're very confused by it. Um, they may have not told you much, or they may have told you a lot, but it was very confusing, very conflicting. I'm seeing here Hangman and the Lovers. It's like they wanted this relationship with you, very attracted to you. They definitely was attracted to you, like without question. Um, you knew that they were attracted to you. There was a level of intimacy shared or passion or desire. But how they're feeling deep down right now is they're at a stalemate. They don't know how to carry this relationship forward. They don't really know um, what to go, where, to, what to do or where to go from here. Things are literally at a stalemate right now. You guys could be having arguments or disagreements on things and just not seeing eye to eye or just agreeing to disagree. There's something here that I feel like how they truly feel is you guys don't understand the situation. They feel like they can't do much about the situation right now they can't change the circumstances that they have with you but they're very hopeful with the sun they're thinking okay and then they have the three of swords they want a second chance with you but they're not very sure okay it's like they're thinking okay we I've had some deep disagreements in the past. We pretty much have come to this point where we're not saying eye to eye anymore. Yes, we both broke each other's heart. Maybe we are not meant to be with each other. Maybe we just 
Um, there was really nothing shared between us. Maybe I had it all wrong, whatever it was, but they're still thinking like, look, I know if we were to, I mean, you have the three of swords with the happiest card in the deck. What they're thinking is it's not completely over and that whatever it is that has passed, that has either broken your heart, whatever they did, that you will be able to forgive them one day or they will be able to forgive you one day or you guys will be able to work past this. Very hopeful about something. It doesn't necessarily have to be a third party involvement even though I'm seeing the Three of Swords. But I'm seeing they're very hopeful that this will somewhat come back together. And at least this is kind of what they want. Yeah, this is what they want. But they don't like the present situation that you guys are in right now. They hate it. If they could, they would do anything to reverse it. The Tower in Judgment. The Two of Swords. Um, why I'm saying that is because they literally have the card here of discontent. They don't like the situation that's going on between the two of you. Um, you know, they feel alone in this. They feel... They feel like they don't, they're unhappy with themselves, unhappy with the situation, unhappy with what unfolded between the two of you. Um, yeah, very, wow. They're really grieving this loss. They either grieved or still in the middle. They're really grieving here. I'm feeling grievance for some reason. Three of Swords, Death, Judgment, Four of Cups. And um, then temperance, they're still healing from this loss, but they feel restricted, like they can't, they want to, but something here is just telling them that they can't. Temperance, trying to balance their emotions, trying to keep conversation to a limit or to a minimal, or not disclosing much about the situation at hand, but they are definitely internally grieving. Okay. I thought these readings were going to get lighter. But Aries, you have somebody here that is missing or reminiscing something here, but they feel like they can't change it. Um, external, with you know, outside influences is talks. Uh, someone communicating something and not really... Mm, Giving you guys the right information, not really telling what you guys are hopeful to find out in order to bring this back together. It's really, I'm, I'm feeling like somebody here external to you or your partner that you're dealing with, the Knight of Swords and Temperance. Somebody here may be actually trying to keep you guys apart. There is that energy of there's no way we have to keep them apart. Um, five of pentacles. <clears throat> but they feel very restricted. Maybe they feel really restricted by this person or somebody in their environment right now. There is a level of restriction. That's why they feel restricted and cannot give or give what you guys are hoping to Whatever you're hopeful of or wanting this person to do, it's not that they don't want to do it. They're literally, because they can't do it, they're grieving something. But they want to, whatever it is, to make things bright with you. Um, they can't do it at this time. Um, for a reason, maybe you guys know, but this is what's coming out at me right now for the person Aries is dealing with. I do feel like it has something to do with this external factor here, Knight of Swords and the Temperance card. It could be a Libra, a Scorpio, a Leo, a Gemini. Okay. Uh, they can't do it for some reason. They just feel stuck, unable to. You won't be able to hear them out or they're scared that you won't hear them out or you're scared that they won't hear you out. But something will be resolved or somebody is really wishing it will be resolved here. Judgment, the lovers. 
whether or not this is a permanent ending, um, this is what this person's thinking. Is this the complete ending? Is this the final? Is this the last time I was ever going to hear from this person? Was this the? Was this it? Was there absolutely no more? And there's never of us going back together. Is that it? And the sun again. But they're okay. That's exactly what I'm getting. Was it death or the sun? They're confused. Is there going to be? A new chance, a new thing, or is this completely an ending? But death card here also means a new beginning. They want a new beginning with you, but they just don't know. And they can't. Something that I see. I'm seeing new beginnings everywhere between you and this person, Aries. Aries is going to have a reconciliation with someone in their past. But this person just feels restricted right now. They cannot do what it is you guys are wishing or wanting them to do. But if you guys are very spiritually or emotionally or intuitively linked, you guys are feeling it both. Because I think someone's waking up or someone is realizing something. Let's see what the sun, something's made clear to them. Uh, three of Swords, the Emperor, and the King of Swords. Okay, Aries, you could be dealing with another Aries, but an Aries could be feeling very heartbroken over the situation. So these energies could go vice versa, but I'm really seeing they're heartbroken and torn over you as you're coming out in your own reading. The sun, they want this new chance with you. They want this new beginning with you, but with you, they don't really know and not sure how maybe you have already cut this person out or maybe they have already cut you out a final decision was made concerning this relationship this thing that you guys shared together i'm feeling you guys are not really communicating as the relationship seems to be at a stalemate right now but how they want to move forward how they're going to walk their talk is they're still wondering whether or not it's over for sure or if this is a new beginning or they're trying to they're very confused over a scorpio or a leo i can read this in many different ways but i'm really getting more that it's implying they want a second chance but they don't really know how to maybe they've um heard about or found out i'm feeling external influences they may have discovered or received messages that turned them off didn't help your case is kind of what I'm feeling. Didn't either help your case or didn't help their case in getting things back together right now. It's not making them feel like they can pursue this relationship yet they want to. They found out something was a little bit alarming for them and they want to give back balance to this relationship but they feel restricted. All right, Aries, this is the uh, kind of stuff that I have for you guys at this moment. These are the energies that are coming out at me right now, meant for a particular Aries to hear about a particular person they're dealing with. I hope this reading helped you guys. I wish you guys the best, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.